Hello everybody, this is Lauren of Plan Mosh Plan. Welcome back to another summer sticker haul. I'm really excited about this one. I have some really great summer stuff. If you're new to my channel, um, I do memory planning with stickers for an A5 wide planner and I show you, I film these in segments as I get stuff in the mail, I'll film a segment of it. Um, some of this stuff I purchase myself and some of this stuff I get as PR from the sticker shop. So it's kind of a mix of both. Um, I am going to start off with these four shops, but there'll be many more in this haul as, again, I kind of put all the clips together as they come in the mail. Um, starting off where we have the Giving Girl Hello Petite Paper Letters to Apollo and Sadie Stickers. All right, I want to start off with Hello Petite Paper because I'm really excited about this one. I haven't got an um, order from her in a while, and I'm super excited <laughs> to open this. She, um, for the most part, her kits are not foiled, but she does do um, foil events every once in a while, and I purchased during one of them. So I got some sticker kits, and I got some icons and deco and stuff, so I'm going to um, unpackage all of it, and I will show you once I have it all laid out. Okay, so the first kit that I got is the picnic kit, and um, if you've been with me for a while, you might know that with Hello Petite Paper, oh, it looks like I've got a couple different things going on here. Okay, with Hello Petite Paper, I tend to buy all three versions of her kit. So um, she has a full kit, a mini kit, and then this right here is the Hobonichi kit. And I really like just picking up all of them because different stuff, like it's not just like smaller versions of the same kit. It's like there's different stuff that comes with each kit. So um, looks like I'm pulling out some freebies here. Let's see, Th these are the freebies that I got in that little package. Um, you also get this business card and this um, freebie as well. Anyways, I tend to buy um, multiples. Oh, it looks like there's some other hobos. I tend to buy multiples of the kits just because I like to have a lot of stuff and I like it all to kind of match and go together. So this is the Hobonichi kit. Um, I get her stuff on glossy paper because she has matte and glossy and the glossy prints a lot more vibrantly. Um, although she did message me and let me know that she is going to get premium matte and I think she's going to send me some of that to try out. So maybe that'll be included in this haul um, depending on when it gets to me. She is in Portugal and sometimes it takes a while for me to get her stuff because I'm in the U.S. But anyways, as of right now, I think it's just glossy available. Um, so that's what I get. And I just really like having like, she's got all these strips of stuff cut in here. I really like the size of these boxes. Um, and then you've got some scallops here. So that's the kind of stuff that I like to use from the Hobonichi kit. I also picked up the Deco, really pretty. Not a whole lot of floral, so it'll be interesting because I'll try and incorporate like the bows and the books and the strawberries and stuff. Um, I think it'll still be really cute and fun to plan with, even if it's a little less floral than it I'm typically used to. I'll show you the full kit here. It is foiled in gold. Again, her kits, she keeps them in her shop for a really long time, um, but the foiled kits are not always available. Um, so you kind of have to grab them pretty quickly when she has a foiled event. I really like this one. I love the like bright florals and the picnic theme. I think it's super fun and summery. This is the newest format of her kit. So I think you've got a single box um, or checklist box here for the sidebar. I want to say you can order those separately, but I'm not sure. And then these used to be a ton of little things, but now you have some um, quarter and third uh, appointment labels. I wish they were closed off. I really don't like appointment labels, um, but I like that she made them, you know, different from um, just the old version that had the um, escaping me, the little things. These are super cute. This is also new. Um, I don't know if this is page is exclusive to like the foiled kit, but she added in date covers, which I'm so happy about. I have been missing date covers from her kits from a really long time. The bow headers are really cute too in her old format for foiled kits. Those used to come separately. Now they're included. I really like these fancy boxes and I especially like how 
um, there's some floral deco in the corners and it's kiss cut around it. And then there's like the confetti foil around it. I think that's really, really nice. I super appreciate that. And then you've got some third boxes, some scallop boxes. And then these two things right here are habit trackers, but they are so light. I feel like you could very easily put some, some like divider over top there and make that like just another third box if, if you'd prefer to use it that way. I, I will probably do that myself. Um, this page got a little reformat too. She included her icons that she hand draws instead of the, they used to be circle icons there. And I love that. Lots of fun bows and flags. Um, super cute. Really like that. And then the bottom washi, oh my gosh, so foily and beautiful. I'm obsessed. This is like a gingham pattern for like picnic themed and then just like heart and star and confetti foil over the flowers. It looks so good. I love that everything in her shop is hand drawn. Um, and it's just like so unique and so her style. So that is the full size kit there. Um, and then I have again, the deco and the hobo kit. And then last but not least, I also have the mini kit. Um, the mini kit has all of the boxes as well, just not foiled. So what I'll do is put these extra boxes as leftovers. I have a little sticker book where I collect leftovers. So whoever gets that sticker book will have a pretty much full kit, um, everything they need to plan for a very full spread. And then you get, again, I really like this because you get, Ooh, looks like she added, this used to be just two like eight half boxes. Um, so you get those here and then you get extra scallops and third boxes, which is awesome. Some more labels. And then you used to exclusively get these kind of icons in the mini kit, but again, now they're in the full kit. So, um, just a lot to plan with. I love having really full big kits because to me, that means I can make my kits just kind of like exactly how I want. I can make the spreads really great if I have really full kits. So that's the picnic kit. I got one more kit that I will show you. Okay. Next up is the Bella Rosa kit. I actually bought this kit with the intention of using it in the fall, but again, because her foil foiled events are kind of few and far between, I didn't want to wait until the fall to grab this because I don't know if it'll be available again in foil, um, although it should be available again not in foil, and really only two of these pages are foiled, so um, kind of up to you if you want to get it without foil. I think it's still probably worth it. Um, it's in gold foil again. I think this would have been really pretty in rose gold foil because it's such a rosy toned kind of kit. You have obviously all of the really pretty flowers. This, ooh, I'm going to show you a, a, a different part in the haul. The Sadie Stickers deco I think would pull in really nicely with this. Um, but yeah, I think rose gold would have gone well with the rosy, to rosy tones, especially in fall. Um, gold's really pretty here too though. Same format, so I'll go through it a little bit faster. Um, something I did notice though about this new format, I really like it and actually I very much prefer it, but you do only get the, um, one set of foiled date covers in the last format with that extra sheet, you got two sets and I uh, would love to have a second set of date covers. I know that I personally use two and I think most people use two or three. Um, Again, I really like these up here, those little fancy boxes. I love that she switched out the um, the icons, the circular icons for these hand-drawn ones with the pattern. My favorite kind of icons, there's kind of a glare because it's glossy, but my favorite kind of icons are ones like this where they're dimensional and they match the colors and the patterns of the kit. I love that. And then this bottom washi is really pretty. Again, same thing with the big florals, kind of confetti foil over top it. And then I really like just the simple line. I think that's really pretty. Um, so that is the full Bella Rosa kit. And then I also, of course, got two deco sheets, kind of similar to the last one, where there's only like a few florals here. So that might be a little bit tricky for me, but I love makeup stuff and... Um, I hope I will have a lot of makeup events or whatever by the time that I use this to be able to use a lot of that deco. This is the Hobonichi version of the kit checklist. I don't, those kind of decorative boxes. Again, I really buy it because I like these little 
um, boxes that don't go quite the full width of the column right here. And then I also really like the kind of scallop and thin pieces of washi that are included here. I think I I like them because I feel like there's a lot of creative things I can do with them. And then last for the Bella Rosa kit, I again got the, um, the mini kit. So for this, you again you get the the boxes here um i will probably end up cutting out a lot of this deco and pulling it into my spread just because you don't get a whole lot of florals and then um same format here this is not foiled the mini kits and hobonichi kits are not but you get just a lot more boxes and deco so um that is the bella rosa kit you will be seeing me use that sometime in the fall and then really quickly before I go into icons, just to show you, I had the Sunny Days kit from last year that I'm going to be using in my spread this year. And I pick, picked up some extra deco and the Hobonichi kit for this one too. Same reason that I always do. Her old deco sheets are bigger and I actually prefer that now that I'm looking at it. This is bigger than the, the recent ones. Um, this is, let me see if I can grab one. This is the size of both of the deco sheets for Picnic and Bella Rosa, and this is the old size, so I prefer this for sure. Um, so the other thing I like about this kit is these are whited out, whereas in the other version of the Hobonichi kits that I just showed you, they were uh, filled in with deco, but I think this is going to be way more functional for me to use as a fancy box. So anyways, okay, that is picnic and then the last thing that I picked up from Hello Petite Paper was I kind of stocked up on some of her icons. I got them again in glossy um, but she she hand draws them and they're just so good. The color that she picks is great and matches with all of her kits so I really like pulling them in um, when I'm using her kits. Um, so first we have barbecue. I love it. You've got barbecues, burgers, and some cooking like barbecue tools. This is called work or study. I will obviously use it for working. I think this is going to be great to mark nights when I'm working late. Um, laptop doodles. I mean, I won't over explain why I like to use <laughs> laptops. There's also iPads. That's cute. Um, this is drinks. Love that. I love that you've got beer, wine, champagne, and then just kind of some fun fancy drinks here. And there's a combination of singular drinks and clinking drinks. I love that. Um, baking. I use baking doodles mostly just to mark when I cook. I don't really bake, but I do really like baking doodles. Um, you also have cupcakes on there, which I think is cute for marking like celebratory stuff. This is cooking. Um, I like them also, but I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I feel like I like, like the mitts and the baking utensils better than I like frying pans and cutting boards. I don't know. Still, still very cute. This is the coffee mugs, adorable, such a pretty pink. This is the tea, I love these tea mugs here. I don't know how much use I'll get out of like the pots and the sugar and stuff, but I really like the shape of the tea mugs. And I do like that you get a variety of icons on every sheet, I really do appreciate that. TV time, a lot of Netflix. I probably just prefer the plain TVs. Sorry about that, I got cut off, but I was just saying I like <laughs> these smaller TVs. Um, cleaning, again, I just like that there's a variety of all of the different icons on one page. Fast food, we don't eat much fast food, but we do eat takeout and pizza, and so I thought that was super cute. And you know, every once in a while we stop for like In-N-Out or something. And then shopping, super cute. Love all the different bags and the hangers. That's really cute. I might even cut out the shop part of the hanger and just use that hanger to mark like putting away clothes or something. Um, and then back at the beginnings. All right, it's a few days later here and I have the Hello Petite Paper Seasonal Petite Box Summer Edition. Um, so I, again, Vanessa told me she was gonna send me something to for me to test out her new premium matte paper. So I didn't realize it was going to be a whole, a whole box like this. <laughs> this is super fun. Um, let's see all what she put in here. Oh, super cute. Got some washi. Let's see if I can zoom in. Um, the washi is like pink and white striped with silver foil. And then there's anchors and bows. I don't know if you can see with the glare on it, but that's super cute. And then let's see, oh my gosh, this is really cute packaging. 
It's almost like Easter, but it's so fun. Wow. I might have to Instagram this. Hold on. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to open this up. It is really cute. I really like the packaging of this. Um, oh my goodness. It's a little extra sheet in there. Okay, so what do we got here? Looks like we've got a kit and then um, some die cuts here as well as a notepad. What are these? Oh, these are some journaling cards. Really pretty. And then I really like that notepad. That's really pretty. I will for sure use that. Not sticky notes, just regular notes. Make sure you can see it. The colors are light, but in to me they're like vibrant. It's not like so blown out in my lighting that I can't see. I hope it's translating on camera like that. So, okay, so that's everything that you get in there. Two journaling cards. You've got what looks like a full kit over here and then the die cuts. Let me pull these out for you so you can see. I don't know if they're stickers or just die cuts, but all oh, really pretty. Again, it's all like her hand drawn stuff. This one's so cute. So, so cute. Okay, so let's move into the stickers because that is obviously my favorite part and the part I'm really excited about. If this is on premium matte paper, I'm gonna be, so oh, it is, <laughs> yay. I feel like I've been ordering for her for years like probably five years or something, and I'm so excited to see this on Premium Matte. Um, all right, so the kit is called Vitamin C, and for sure this paper is a lot more vibrant than um, than her old matte paper. It really is. The print quality looks really nice. Um, it looks like this is the updated kit format. It's got kind of hints of silver in here, so I feel like and, and it's just kind of a, you know, with the blues and purples, I feel like silver will be good. I might pull in gold too. I don't know. I'll probably do silver, but I feel like rose gold would be really pretty. And gold. I think actually any foil would be really pretty with it. Sorry, it's early in the morning, y'all. I got my Starbucks. <laughs> really cute. Oh, included the full boxes here. That probably means that that's an add-on sheet that I didn't pick up with my um, with my last order. So, oh, you also get this little freebie that comes with it. So you get an altering skin tone as well as an additional appointment label. And then here's the deco sheet. We know this is my favorite part. I love starfish. I really want starfish foil deco that are starfish shapes like that. Really cute. And you know what I'm gonna do too, just because this is, she sent me this to test out the paper specifically. I'm going to just write, hello, right there. Really nice. No smear. Perfect. I love it. So good. Thank you so much, Vanessa, for sending this to me. I really, really appreciate it. All right. Next up is letters to Apollo. She has such a cute packaging. She says, says did you just do a happy dance? I think you did. Contents inside may cause warning. Contents inside may cause extreme excitement. So cute, and that's in her lettering. I love that. Um, she had some really good two dollar Tuesdays um, that I picked up, and I actually picked these both up on the same day. Um, so let me see. I can see. She wrote me a note here. Okay, so I got this is like one two dollar Tuesday, but I went back and I made two orders that day because she had so much good stuff. I think she got me on her Instagram live. She does lives where she'll like show you on Instagram everything she got and they're super fun. And I think I watched one and was like, oh, I definitely need to go back and get more. Uh, it looks like she threw in, I don't know if that's Kayla or Kala, how to pronounce that, but pretty planner pages, PR freebie, really cute. I'll zoom you in. Very, uh, it's like got some mermaid tail scallops here. And then I like this. It's like a starfish or something kind of. 
um, little banner. I think that's super cute and silver foil. Um, and then let me show you the $2 Tuesdays that I picked up. Um, they are very, they were all very like tropical themed. So this is on clear paper called Hibiscus Breeze. All three foils here. I'll do it this way. Um, I just picked up a lot of kind of like different tropical kind of um, foil decoration. The way she was layering them in her planner was like really cute. This one is also called Tropical Breeze. This one is called Mini Leaf 2. I think really cute for like the bottom of a column. Um, all three foils. Okay, this is my favorite one and I literally can't wait. Oh, did I get some of these in... Hmm. I think I must have accidentally ordered some of them in gold, but it looks like she has a light gold. So um, here we go. This is the palm tree. These are all individually kiss cut, and I think they are literally the cutest stickers ever, and I can't wait to play with these in my summer spreads. Um, again, it looks like I picked it up in both the gold and the light gold. This is gold. This is light gold. Sorry, this is gold. This is light gold. I really like her light gold. This hot gold, this regular gold is a bit too hot for my personal taste, um, but I really like that she has light gold as an option. She also offers, um, oh, so cute, the tropical, um, this is called tropical stars, but it's really just these palm trees all kind of grouped together, and then it has some little kind of dot deco in between it, and I think this is just the cutest thing ever. I'm so excited. So again, light gold, silver, gold, which is a very hot gold, and rose gold. I also picked up some of the shell dividers after watching her live plan with me. Really cute. I think that's just going to be nice in a very like summery spread. Some of them go the full width across of a column and some of them, you can see every other one of them are just kind of sized down. So I really like that. I like that there's some different like variation in sizing there. Um, this I thought was really well done. This is the wave two and I just think it is such a good wave. Like it's very minimal and just really pretty. I don't know how to describe it. I like how like understated it is. It's not like bam wave in your face. It's just like a very understated pretty like flow to the sticker. You know how I say it. Big. It has a good flow. <laughs> um, I got more of the palm trees. I won't bore you, but I went back in my second order and I picked up more of each of the individual ones and of the um, cluster ones because tropical stars because I was like, I'm going to use these literally all the time. I love them already and I can't wait to have them. Um, and then she also was offering pool day scripts as part of her um two dollar tuesday she was offering pool day and park day and i was like wait i need pool day and beach day because when i'm on vacation like in hawaii i like to mark whether i spent most of the day at the pool or most of the day at the beach so jess i hope you come out with these that are the same but say beach day so that i can like alter my days anyways and then last but not least i got hibiscus breeze i wonder did i order it because i wonder why i don't have it in like gold maybe that's my bad yeah looks like I forgot to order the hot gold or the light gold and some of those so that's okay um anyways this is everything from letters to Apollo I do have a coupon code with her it is Lauren 10 I believe um you can find it down below I don't think it works on two dollar Tuesdays but I do think it works on everything else in her shop and I know that she is reformatting her redoing some of her scripts and those will be coming soon so definitely check her out um if you're interested in seeing what those look like okay next up is Sadie stickers. Um, part of this is a PR order. Part of this is some stuff that Alicia sent me on top of that. And then part of this is stuff that I myself personally got. So kind of all over the place, but I condensed it all. I'm going to put it all in one section for you. So um, the first thing that I want to talk through, I think, is the sticker kit. So I got um, this 
is a kit that I picked out myself um, and I'm really excited about it. It is called Island Dream and I think it's a really pretty kind of tropical kit. I'm going to Mexico and I could see myself maybe using this for that week. Um, it would also be really pretty for Hawaii or just as a summer kit, you know. Um, it's got like a matte kind of gold foil and I really just like all of the different tropical florals in it. Um, super, super pretty. So here is all of the full boxes. Again, I just really like the kind of tropical flowers. I like that there's three boxes of that. And then here's her kit format. This page has a lot of really good stuff on it. Um, scallops, um, and then quarter boxes and third boxes, quarter, uh, half boxes, sorry, and then some, I don't know what you call them, just boxes down there. Um, you can't really probably see Let's see if I can zoom you in a bit, but some of these are, there's like different shapes going on here. So you've got some um, notched edges here. You've got some stuff with like scalloped bottoms as well. So you can kind of see there's lots of really good variety there. Her new kit format, all three pages of the kit are foiled. This page has your sidebar stuff, a lot of really good layering stuff on the side. And then I'll zoom back out. These three um, boxes over here are your headers. So you've got some confetti ones, some pattern confetti ones, and then these line ones I really like at the bottom there. Again, everything is foiled. Here is the page with the date covers and the bottom washi. So pretty. Um, really simple line in the big florals. I love that. And then I also really liked in my last spread using these scallop headers in the sidebar. I really appreciate that she puts in those confetti scallop headers there. So that is the the kit, her kit format. You've got four pages all fully foiled. And then I picked up two of the Island Dream Deco that goes along with it. And then I actually went back. Let's see if I can find it. Well, we'll see it again. But I went back and got a third, I think, because um, the florals are really pretty, but I loved how varied they were. And I was like, I want to be able to use these all throughout the spread. So um, you get all the florals, different one every time here. And then she also gives you all of her little boxes, like fancy boxes and squares and all of that circle. So that is the Island Dream kit. And then she threw in this kit as for me also, and I was super excited to get it. Um, and let's see, I'm going to start unpackaging the rest of this stuff because she gave me that. And then I was like, well, I have to go back and get all of the deco, right? <laughs> so I went and bought all the deco that came along with it. Um, I, part of this order, the second part of the order is literally me just going and buying so much of her deco. Oh, look, here's the other, um, Island. Ooh, it looks like I got two more of the Island dream. Great. I'm going to be stacked with deco there, but it, she has a lot of really good deco and, um, a lot of this order was me just going and buying extras of deco, whether it matched kits that I had in my possession or whether I was using it just to kind of build up my collection of deco. Um, that was like a big part of this order for me just because her deco is so good. So Let's see. Okay. So I got, did this come with one sheet of deco? No. Okay. So I got the June kit and then again, I came back and got more deco. I'll show you what the kit looks like first. It's silver foiled and I've seen this art a lot of different places. Different people have kind of done different color saturations I feel like of the blues and the peaches in it, but I really like the palms. I like how like leafy they are and a lot of the fruit with the peach and the florals I think it's really pretty um and I like that it's silver I feel like you don't see a lot of silver foil in the summer with kits that have warm tones in them I feel like when you see it it tends to be like with like kind of deeper greens so I feel like this is different and I like that a lot I like there's like the water texture watercolor texture in them I'm going a little bit faster since I just talked through the format oh I really like the bottom washi wow I love the like really bold foiling of those palm leaves and then the florals and stuff here. I really like these starfish. Someone needs to come out with starfish deco like that for $2 Tuesday. I'm putting it out into the universe. Someone make it happen. <laughs> They're so cute. I would love to foil stuff with those starfish. Um, okay, so that is the kit. And then here is the deco. Oh, I know what I did. 
Okay, I'll show you in a sec. Here's the deco that you can add on. This is, you purchase it separately, so I got two of them. And then this was also her monthly version of her kit was this pattern also. I didn't pick it up, but I did buy the, sorry, camera cut me off. But anyways, um, this is the monthly deco sheet and I picked it up. It's the same kind of like, you know, artwork and clip art. It's just much bigger and I like having that variety. I like having like little small individual pieces of deco, smaller bouquets, and then really big ones that I can just like I don't know. I just find myself more creative when I have a variation of size, shape, different kind of um, deco to, to work with. So there's that. I also really like that you get like the strip of washi here. I'm sure I'll end up pulling that in and using it in the sidebar as well. Um, so that's everything for the June 2021 kit. Oh, I was going to show you too. She started offering just like floral deco as something you can purchase in her shop. And I'm going to show you. I picked up a lot of that. Um, with the intention of being able to pull it into all the different kits that I use. She has a ton of variation and really good colors of like floral deco that I just, a lot of people use in their kits already. Like you see the kind of same flowers over and over again in different people's kits. So I just picked up a ton of them. This being one of them, I purchased another kit that I think you'll see later in this haul that this deco is going to match. But I also thought that some of the like leaves individual leaves and palms and stuff would match really well with this kit too so maybe not like the big giant red ones but I don't know some of those like tan palms like that'll that'll match and same with this sheet this is this version it's just the trim so I thought I could pull some of that in here too to pull some of the warmer tones anyways okay that is the June 2021 kit and I'll move on now to all of the floral deco that I purchased Okay, so the floral deco that I purchased, again, it's a mix of floral deco that she is just making pages of, like these three that I just showed you. And then also, I just went in and purchased some of the floral deco that matched some of the kits because I thought that it would just be good to have on hand, even though I didn't necessarily buy these kits. But I think having, like this is, comes from the Limitless kit. I don't have the Limitless kit, but I think having just a page of this kind or two pages of this kind of like greenery is going to be really useful for me because I use a ton of kits that have kind of sagey cool toned green greenery in them so good to have on hand. I also picked up okay some of the floral deco this match a ton of different shops use this clip art and put it into their spreads like you if you look around you will see this everywhere from a ton of different shops so I picked up floral deco five same with this I'm sure this is the same shop who does all of this I don't know but I have to guess because it's so similar um same with floral deco one right it's all kind of the same it's just different colors so super similar. I feel like no matter what kit I have, it'll match one of those. She also made halves out of those two, which I thought was so, so great. So they're just kind of like scalloped things. You can use them on your own, layer them with a scallop. I think that'll be really useful. Oh, this is actually very funny. I picked up these to go with my Two Little Bees 4th of July kit. This is the exact artwork that Maria from Two Little Bees put in her 4th of July kit, but she didn't offer a floral deco sheet. I called her out, <laughs> jokingly, on my Instagram stories, and she messaged me, and she was like, I totally made a sheet with this floral deco, and I forgot to list it. And that she like showed me the file and everything. So <laughs> I was like, all good. I got it from Sadie stickers instead. So I'll be using this to match with my two little bees 4th of July kit. Um, this artwork is really popular as well. Um, I have it from Alyssa's craft shop. She has a kit that matches this. She also sells some herself. And then there's also, um, so that's the floral echo or sorry, deco eight. And then there's also the floral trim eight eight that goes along with it. I tend to do this where I cut them up and use them as trim anyways. So it's nice to have it already kind of pre-cut and all even and perfect for me already. That's awesome. And then let's see the floral trim five and one. This matches the other deco that I bought. We are, you already saw it here. Um, 
yeah. Anyways, I won't go through, but you'll take my word for it, right? You already saw these. <laughs> um, okay. I also went and picked up some deco from the picnic kit. She sent this to me, um, in just as extra in one of my last orders, the kit, but I wanted to have more deco sheets. So I picked up more of that. Um, I picked up this bloom deco. This is, Again, I don't have the bloom kit. I'm not planning on buying the bloom kit, but just having like the monstera and palm leaves to have extras of to use to pull into other kits this summer is going to be really great. Again, she sent me the darling kit as one of as an extra in one of my last orders, so I wanted to go and pick up more deco. Same thing as the picnic kit and the June kit. And then last but not least, we have Green Home, same thing. These are just all kind of different shades of green. Great to have the extra greenery to pull in with different spreads that I have that are kind of those colors for the summer. So a ton of floral deco. Again, if you're like me and like just needing floral deco and not wanting to plan without it, but a lot of still waiting for some shops to like let you buy as much as you want or deco, whatever. I'm just picking mine up from Sadie stickers because she has made some really great options of, um, deco sheets. So that's all the deco that I picked up. And then, um, Ooh, there's my freebie. I'll show it again at the end, but I do do PR for Sadie stickers. Um, obviously <laughs> my code is Lauren twenties. So you can put that in to get 20% off your order. And then this is what you'll get if you put my name in the notes to seller. Okay. Um, I also picked up her midi boxes, her third boxes. I have been really wanting more, um, boxes that don't go the full width of the column. That's always been a big thing for me. And I really like the like simple foiling, just like a simple line. I think this is great to put in the middle of half boxes that are too busy to white it out. So um, I picked those up in all three of her foils there. I think I'm going to go back. She also has a version for quarter and half boxes. So I think I'm going to go back and get that and a sampler with all of them. Um, okay. This was a $2 Tuesday that I thought was a really great theme. It was all kind of like Daisy themed and I really, really loved it. So I picked up a bunch of stuff from it. Um, okay. First up is the Daisy stem deco. Really cute. The ones on top have the Daisy and the ones on the bottom are just all filled in. These are like more detailed on top. Really pretty. These are all kind of individually cut out, kind of similar to the palms I showed you from Letters to Apollo. I think that's really pretty and I'm excited to be kind of creative with that. This is the Floral Cluster Drop. I thought these were really, really pretty as well. Super detailed. Love kind of just the look of wildflowers. These are the floral border dividers. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the meadow dividers from, I'll zoom in, from Honey Inked. Um, I feel like you can use these really similarly, but these are just like daisies with some dots, half daisies with some dots. Really, really pretty. This is all on clear paper so far. Again, I really liked the daisy theme, so I picked up these daisy mini circles they're just such pretty daisies, perfectly foiled. I got these on matte paper, premium matte paper. Really pretty, I think, to layer actual like colorful florals around it. That'll look really, really nice. Um, I also got the Daisy Deco. I thought this was going to be really cute just to foil around. Again, Honey Ink does some of these little like flowers, her meadow flowers, but I really like the Daisy version. I think these are really pretty just to add some foil to your spreads. Um, the daisy branches again, really, really pretty. I feel like you could use them as dividers, like how they are horizontally, or you could totally, you know, flip them so they're vertical. They're not super delicate, but I still really like them. I just like the, this artwork, whatever this artwork is. I think it's really nice. Perfectly foiled as always. Um, I got the floral mini circles. These match those floral half dividers really well, so I thought that would be good. This is a good size. 
you'll be able to fit whatever you need to fit in there. And then last but not least, I got two of each of these. These are the floral stem deco and I love this. I thought these were so good. You've got like the smaller ones on the bottom, which I feel like I'll use a lot. And then the bigger ones, again, I just like they all have a nice curve to them. And that's something I really look for in stickers is just like nice curves. <laughs> All right, that is everything from Sadie Stickers. It feels like a ton. I am so excited to use all of this floral deco. There's so much of it, and I can't wait to start pulling it into my spreads. Um, again, I do do PR for Sadie Stickers. One more time, I'll show you nice and close. This is my PR freebie. So if you would like, you can put Lauren 20 to get 20% off your order and then put my name in the notes. And that is how you will get this rose gold freebie. All right. Next up is the giving girl. I've been really into her like little foiled hearts and stuff. She's been coming out with some really good kind of decorative stickers. Um, so let's see. This is the May 2021 freebie. So it looks like you probably can't get that anymore, but it's super cute. Rose gold foil. Are these all individual little stickers? Wow. I really like that rain cloud. That'll be cute for like, I don't know, winter time. Um, okay. And then you also get a journal. Uh, what is this called? washi card um and then she's got the cutest packaging okay so opening this up i think this was really me mainly restocking some stuff that i wasn't able to pick up when i did my last order oh yeah oh so cute okay i think she threw in the lace sticky notes as a freebie really cute thank you jennifer i love that they're kind of on a oh sea salt color it's kind of like a very neutral gray um, I really like her bows a lot. So I picked up the fancy bow. Ooh, there we go. The fancy bow dividers on clear paper. Um, you can probably tell, but they're altering, right? So you've got a, some that are on the right side of the bow, some that are on the left side of the bow, and then a lot that are centered. Um, so I got them in all three foils there on clear paper. I like to put these like at the bottom of a um, bottom of a column, or you can't even see. Well, I was doing the bottom of a column or in between um, a full box and a header. Really good way to kind of foil that up. I also bought these side bows in gold. I think I was able to pick them up in rose gold and silver, but they were sold out in gold the last time I purchased. So just to kind of complete that set. I also picked up the teeny bows number four. I have a lot of her bows, but I didn't have this one, I don't think. And I really like the shape of this one. I think it's really cute. I think the shape lends itself well to bunch of different spreads. Like I could see pulling this into kind of more cartoony spreads like Hello Petite paper or more sophisticated spreads. Um, I think this is an all around good bow. Sometimes bows pull one way or the other to me and I feel like that goes both ways. And then this is the Starry Deco. Again, the last time I got it, I think I was able to get it in gold, but not rose gold and silver. So I picked it up in rose gold and silver as well. All right. So that is everything from The Giving Girl. I used to have a referral link, but I don't think it works anymore. She um, now has PR people that have referral links. I didn't apply for that, but a bunch of people do. Um, so go ahead and go to her Instagram to find the people who have referral links to get, I think it's 10% off your order if you're interested in picking any of this up. All right, next up is two little bees. Um, from this point out in the, this video, I had already recorded all of this and done this whole haul. And um, when I tried to edit it back, I realized that I was having the same audio issues as my last video, if, my last plan with me if you watch that. So I am re-filming and re-recording all of this. Um, so FYI, as to why I'm not showing you the packaging or I may not have the freebies anymore, I may have taken them apart already. Um, yeah, so that's a little bit about that. Um, okay, so this is an order from Two Little Bees. She sent this to me a while ago. Like I said, I've been waiting for my mic to come in the mail to re-record this. So um, I've had it for a little bit and I was so excited to show you it. Um, I have, you can see I actually have two of the same kit here because she sent me 
um, the old version of Sail Away, which is um, the version that if you purchase it in her shop, she has available for you in her shop. And then she also sent me the um, reformat. When she was like testing her reformat, she had sent me this version of it. So I don't think this is available, but I'm going to show you both just so we can talk about the reformat. Um, I also have the poppy kit right here and Boho Rainbow. Again, thanks Maria for sending this to me. I want to be transparent about that and say thank you <laughs> as well. Um, but let me start with the sail away kit um so this at the bottom here this version let me show you this version first because that is the version that is available in her shop and then we'll talk about the reformat after um so first and foremost maria knows that i love deco so she's <laughs> she sent me two of each uh deco add-on sheet which i really appreciate so um she is doing something that i really like she's give there's like a floral She's kind of doing a different at, like floral add-on situation for each of her kits, so this isn't going to be standard across everything you see, but she's starting to do more and more of it where you'll have a deco sheet that has um, like the florals and the clip art, or sometimes you'll have like the clip art on one sheet and the florals on the other. This has combined florals and clip art, so love that. But then she's also doing this that I really like, which is the floral shapes sheet. So there's like you know, the cutoff ones and the shapes and stuff. I love this. I really love planning with these. I'm so glad that she sent me two of them um, or two of each because I think, you know, I, I've just been doing this for a while. Um, anyways, cutting them out myself, but these have some added detail and stuff and they're just super fun to plan with. And um, I don't know, I feel super creative when I use those. So, okay, here is the sail away kit. Um, she had released this in 2019 and I used it for Labor Day um, and I really liked it because we always go to Tahoe for Labor Day and um, I'm just showing you the old version because I'm sure you've seen it. <laughs> um, and yeah, so we always go to Tahoe for Labor Day and this is totally the vibes with like the sailboats and the deep blue and the nautical. I tend to use just like one nautical kit a year and a lot of times it's for Labor Day. So that is the old version. And then this won't change with the new format. You'll still be able to purchase this functional add-on sheet separately. So love that. Um, it's really pretty. I mean, if you guys are not new to my channel, I, you hear me rave about these all the time. I just love these sheets. You get kind of smaller versions of all of the florals and then a bunch of other stuff. Like I love the scallops. I love, love, love these like, you know, smaller versions of boxes that are different sizes. Don't go across the full width of a column with the added on florals. It's like the best thing ever. So that plus the, the two deco add-ons um, and the functional add-on is what you would be able to purchase in her shop. And then here is the reformat of the kit, which I am so excited about. One of the main differences is that instead of the four pages, you get four pages in a mini kit, which is, this, or that's just her kit format. You get four pages now. Um, and in the old version of the kit, only two of the pages were foiled. In this version, three of the pages were foiled. So you don't see any differences in the full box sheet, but here's where you start to see some differences. Your checklists are foiled. You now get three foiled and pattern headers, which I am so into. Her last format only had one set of pattern foil headers. The other headers were script, and I really, I don't know, I use at least two sets of headers and I know a lot of people do too and I know a lot of people like foiled headers so I think that's a great update. Um, more third boxes with foil. I think that's really great. You get less deco now here, which I think is fine because if you want deco, then you can just buy the deco add-on, you know? Um, and that box is really cute too. I've never seen foil on that. So that's really fun. This page, let me see if I can kind of just compare some of these sheets. You see the checklist moved um, as well as the um, like the sidebar stuff had moved over. So that's all over here now. Um, but you get the the like half boxes, all of that. Let me zoom out a little bit so you can kind of see um, half boxes, quarter boxes, third boxes. That's all here too. Um, flags. I like these because these are like, they don't go the full width across, which is totally my preference. Um, and one of your little kind of smaller boxes has moved over here too. This is the only page that isn't foiled. And then on this last page in the old kit format, you get the foiled headers here. And that's really the only change is that since you now have all your foiled headers here, 
three sets instead of one, you now get third boxes that are foiled and a quarter box, which is like such an improvement in my opinion. I am so pleased with that change. So um, that is the new kit format. I, I couldn't love it more truly. Like I just, it feels so good and so complete and I'm so happy with it. Um, again, you can pick up all the extras, whatever you want. That doesn't change with the new kit format. So um, yeah, that's really exciting to me. So I'm gonna put all this to the side and we're gonna go over the next couple kits here. Um, she sent me, this one is called Poppy. Um, so she's, let's take a look at it first. I love, it's like wildflower themed and I love wildflowers. Like in real life, in, like sticker deco <laughs> just like I, I love like paintings of wildflowers like I just love them um so here you go this is the old format again I think you did get more of these boxes in the old format which I do really like but again if you like those then you would just purchase more of the um add-on functional sheet here's this page this is really pretty the this like kind of I don't know, leaf or branch pattern or whatever that is. I really like that in the washi. Super cute. And I like that she like has the, you know, flowers and stuff. And then she puts the bows in. Just very classic two little bees. Little touches of two little bees. Maria is wonderful and sent me two of these sheets again. because She knows that I love this sheet. Um, it's just so good. It really is. So there's that. That's the kit. Going through a little fast since I just showed you the kit format. And then she's truly the best. She sent me three of the Poppy Deco sheet and something, I'm gonna zoom you in here. I, something I really like about this one is, I talk about this all the time, but it's got just so much variation. It's not like the exact same bouquet, you know, seven times. It's They're all different. They're different sizes, different shapes, different colors, different arrangements of flowers. I think that makes the spread so much more interesting when you're pulling in different versions of the same, you know, of matching floral arrangements. I think that's really nice. I, I really look for that um, when I'm picking out kits. And here is the floral shapes. Again, so good. I'm so glad that she's doing this. And a lot of shops are too. Like I, I'm just so glad to see that this is a thing. Um, and I really like the she in particular. It's nice too for ones, um, you know, like this. I would totally recommend getting at least well, I would recommend getting two of each because then you do have like some matching stuff to make it look cohesive and then, but you also have variation. I don't know if that makes sense to anyone's brain, but my crazy brain about that kind of stuff. Um, the last kit she sent me is Boho Rainbow. This one, the other two kits were foiled in gold. This one is foiled in rose gold. I know Maria really likes rose gold foil. Um, and this is really well done. I love green with rose gold like I feel like any kit that has green in it my my first thought is always to foil it with rose gold um I think this is cute too she normally does her like two little bees bows down here um, but she did rainbows with the two little bees bows I think that's a really cute touch I feel like this kit would be good for fall um or like early fall maybe but or like end of summer early fall but I kind of feel like it's also just an anytime kit it has some like um, office elements with the clips, paper clips and stuff that I feel like maybe you could do it in a, like, I don't know if it would be my back to work kit, but if you wanted to do like your first month of back to work or whatever, I don't know. I'm feeling September for this one, I think. And then I really, I mean, I've said this before, but I'm a sucker for mustard <laughs> and I love the mustard flowers. Oh, again, two of these sheets. Thank you. <laughs> and then here is the bottom washi, there we go. There's the bottom washi, so pretty. And these date covers, I actually really like them. They're a little busy, but I really, really like them. When you get the foil shot, it's like not too busy at all. Okay, so that's the kit. And then here's a good example of, like she put all of the kind of non-floral clip art on one page and then she put the floral clip art on another. So you have the Boho Rainbow Deco and the Boho Rainbow Floral Deco. Of course, this is what I'm interested in. And again, I love the mustards. I love the like green and the pink and the mustard all together. So many different variations of bouquets. 
single pieces of greenery, different shapes. I, I love it. I think this is a great sheet. I'm going to pick up more. I hope there's still some more in the shop. All right, that is everything for now, at least for two little bees. I do have another order already, but I'm going to save that and put it up in a smaller haul in about a week. I'm really excited because that one has some of her new fall kits that are all in the new format. So I'm excited to show you that. Um, again, thank you, Maria, so much for sending this to me. I appreciate it so much. Um, and yeah, of course, for Maria's shop, the best thing to do is to shop during her new releases, which she generally has on Fridays, and you can get a 15% off discount that way. All right, next up is an order from Sadie Stickers, part two. I know I already included a part <laughs> in here already. Um, I can't remember if this is a PR order or not, but um, I do do PR for Sadie Stickers. This is my freebie in rose gold you can use the code lauren20 to get 20 percent off and put my name in the notes to get my freebie if you like it um so let's see i ordered this and the two dollar tuesdays and i think she they sent to me over this kit um which is one of the older format kits but i want to first talk about what really um got me to excited for this order which is this sweet celebration kit it is a birthday kit for my birthday i had i couldn't find a birthday kit that i liked that i hadn't already used in previous years and i just bought like a random spring kit that felt very april to me to use for my birthday and i wasn't feeling it and i just had it plan my birthday out because of that and then she released this kit and i was like oh my god thank god this kit is everything I would have wanted for a birthday kit and I'm so excited. It has the prettiest watercolor florals. I absolutely love the colors of the florals and then the colors that she pulled are really soft while the colors of the florals are really bright. I think it is so well done. I love all the foiling detail that she put in. I just, I think it's really well done. So those are the full boxes. Here is um, the like half boxes, quarter boxes, third boxes. I already mentioned, I think previously in the haul that a lot of these shapes are notched and cut out, scalloped, etc. So um, I won't go too far in since I know I already talked about her kit format a lot at the beginning. This page, love the different headers, especially the floral patterned ones. All four pages are foiled, of course, and then I think the bottom washi is so fun. The mixture of the florals and the confetti confetti um, as well as date covers. I really have been loving the scallops that she put in and I actually really like the deco that she included on these boxes, especially the, yeah, the confetti and the streamers. I think that's so great. So, okay, that's the kit. And then of course I got three of the deco add-on. You can purchase these separately. I always get three of them. Um, Again, lots of great different variations of individual florals, different bouquets, different pieces of greenery, all that. So I love that. And then she came out right after with um, a $2 Tuesday that had all of the kind of birthday deco. And what I really like about that is a lot of the stuff that's in the full boxes here is um, she made available. So like I think the bunting banner she did, I don't think I picked them up, but like these streamers are the same streamers here. And I just feel like that's gonna look so cohesive together. Rachel uses these all the time and I've always loved them and wanted them and I like had to pick them up. <laughs> it was such a good kind of like serendipitous thing when that kit came out. Um, so yeah, a lot of this is birthday themed. We've got the number candles here. Again, obviously gonna be super cute for marking someone's age on their birthday. The confetti. Um, matches it's the exact same confetti pattern that's throughout the kit so again that's gonna match really really nicely and then the balloon deco these are a really nice small dainty size and dainty kind of shape and I really appreciate that um, so I think that's super cute I'm so excited to use all of the birthday stuff um, for my birthday to memory plan and just kind of going forward for birthdays i think it's adorable and then i also picked up um this floral trim and floral deco floral deco and floral trim 10. 
just kind of standard eucalyptus. I think I use a lot of kits that have eucalyptus as part of the bouquets or part of the florals. Um, so I thought this would be a good thing to have just to pull in if I need more greenery. She also sent me the like vellum, I don't know the word, vellum acetate, I have no idea the difference. Um, but I put it, I don't know where I put it um, since I filmed this, this is my second time filming it, I got this a long time ago. So there's that, and then they also sent me over the Hello Gorgeous kit. I remember when this kit came out, everyone was using it and I thought it was so pretty. Um, and was really into it. I love the champagne bottle. I feel like that's the cutest thing. This is her old format, so I'm not gonna go too far into the format just because, um, yeah, this is the old one, but lots of boxes, very boxy. Pattern headers. These checklists are huge, honestly. Layering stuff, etc. And then I guess this page probably hasn't changed all that much from the new format to the old format. Oh, these are didn't used to be scalloped. I prefer them scalloped for sure. So that's the Hello Gorgeous kit. I feel like it's a great kit for New Year's or like if you're going back to the office in the fall, this could be a cute one for sure. Um, I feel like it could be party like or, or office depending on which boxes you pull. <laughs> all right, so that's everything from Sadie Stickers. Once again, I do PR for her, so if you would like to get my PR freebie, you just put my name into the notes and you can use my code Lauren20 for 20% off. All right, next up is the sticker garden. Um, Tara is the sticker garden. She is actually not a Etsy shop or a sticker shop. She's just an Instagram planner who makes her own stickers. If you don't follow her and you have any interest at all in my kind of spreads, please go follow her. Her spreads are absolutely amazing. And I don't say that lightly, like truly they are so beautiful. Um, and she makes her own stickers. So she, a lot of these are ones, well, all these I think are ones she made for herself. And, um, I fell in love with this one in particular. So she sent me over some of those. Um, so again, she's not a sticker shop, but she does do, she did release a like collab with um, Sadie stickers. So you can purchase these lace washi from Sadie stickers. Um, she sent me an oops version, I think. So that's why you're not seeing um, some of these are oops. Some of them are not, I think, but that's why that's missing. Um, but these are so pretty. Again, she's doing this with Sadie stickers right now. So you can purchase them from Sadie stickers. If you like the lace is so pretty. And it even, I think I got an oops version, like I said, and it's so well foiled. Like I wouldn't have known if it wasn't on the back. Um, and then I also, like I said, I just fell in love with some of these flourishes that she did. These ones in particular are so beautiful. Again, go to her, her Instagram to see how she um, uses them in her spreads. It's so detailed and so beautiful. I am obsessed with these. And then she also sent me over, oh look, she sent me two of the light gold honeys. She also sent me over this version of a little kind of leafy, oh, she calls it a wildflower divider so beautiful it is I want to zoom you in while well, you are all the way zoomed in I don't know if you can tell how well foiled that is for how detailed and tiny and dainty that sticker is it is impressive truly I can't wait to pull that in so gorgeous so once again thank you Tara for sending me these I appreciate it so much it's so kind of you she's literally the sweetest and it's like such a lovely thing when sweet people are so talented. <laughs> um, so again, if you're interested in any of her stickers, she has way, way more um, right now with Sadie stickers. Okay, next up is Honey Inked. Um, I actually placed two orders because when it first came out, I placed an order right when she opened and she didn't have the light gold foil up and I like panicked and placed the order anyways and then placed a second order with light gold foil. <laughs> um, like I said, I already filmed this and started using some of these stickers. So if I'm missing a sheet in a color, it's because I already used it and not because there was any issue or anything. Um, so like I said, I placed two orders. These are the freebies that came with each order. Um, they're just black, but you also, if you use Rachel's um, name in the notes and her code, you'll get her freebie, which you can see, you can also purchase it, but I majorly stocked up on her freebie for summer. It is so, so good. She, I think, like helps kind of consult with Amanda a lot and helps Amanda pick out some of the, the stuff and 
I don't know, she, I, I know that she works really closely with her. Um, and then she'll have a lot of the new releases on her freebie. So if you want to try something or you're looking for a more economical way to get all the new stuff for a season, buying a couple of her freebies is probably a really good way to save money. Um, I just like to have them, <laughs> so I bought them in addition to um, buying a lot of these sheets. But some of the stuff that I didn't buy full sheets of are, are on here too, so I'll still be able to use it. Um, so a little confusing because it does say freebie, so you will get one for free if you buy something and put use her code, but you can also buy them now. So I really, really like that. Here it is in silver. It says spring freebie, but this is for sure the summer one. Really, really nice. I got two silver, two rose gold, and then I didn't mean to, I don't think, but I got a ton of light gold. This isn't even it. I already used one of them, so um, they're really great sheets. Totally recommend if you're going to purchase from Honey Inked anyway. Um, okay, so let's go into what I all bought here. Okay, first let's talk about the Tiny Meadow Florals. This was part of the spring release. Um, and I used, like, I think pretty much in every foil color, all of the branches um, from the spring release. So I restocked uh, totally on this sheet. Um, and I fell in love with the branches during, actually during the winter, when she did this tiny Christmas accent sheet. And I have been loving and using it ever since then. So, and ever since then, I have been hoping that she was going to release the branches from this sheet and this sheet onto their own um onto their own sheets and she finally did and I'm so excited about that so I picked up the tiny meadow branches but I also picked up um all the ones that she was offering as individuals so you can see this version tiny meadow branches four comes from the meadow florals sheet that's that one right there and you get a full sheet of it which is so great um, and then same with Tiny Meadow Branches 2. I got two light gold of this one because I use it literally all the time. This also comes from Tiny Meadow Florals Sheet. That's that branch right there. So I love that. Um, and then let's see. So she did a, a summer version. I just showed you like the spring. And um, I, I think I already pulled and started using the gold one. So I have it, but it's just rose gold and silver for you right now um she did a a summer version so this is the tiny sea life deco one again it has the branches and the sparkles that has again been one of my favorites um since this christmas accent one she had released the these guys by themselves the dots for the spring release now with the summer release she did kind of variations of the dots um, as well as the sea life stuff. So that's the sea life deco. And then this is the tiny branches that you find on the sea life deco, just the individual of that. This is tiny branches number three. So love that. And then um, again, I already started using the gold version of this. Oh, I actually see it right here. I haven't put it away yet. Here we go. You see I'm missing a couple, but the, this is the Sea Life Deco. This is just a bigger version of what we just looked at without the dots. So um, super fun. I'm enjoying pulling these in for like bigger behind florals and stuff. It definitely is not a summer only kind of thing for sure. Okay, so let's let's talk about the dots here. Um, I don't think I really realized what I was doing when I picked these up. Um, so I'm going to show you because I didn't get them correctly necessarily in all four. Uh, three foils. So let's just look at the gold. Um, so the, like I said, the original version, I'm actually going to pull silver because I see them right in front of me. Here are like the originals that came off of that original um, sheet from the, from the winter time. So that's tiny dot clusters. That's the name of it like that. And then um, she released tiny dot clusters two and tiny dot clusters three. You can see a lot of the dots in the two and three this is two and this is three are a lot daintier than the ones in this they're a lot like smaller so that's kind of the difference there and then they're just stacked differently and then this one right here tiny dot clusters variety this is obviously just a mix of some of these and just like a bit of a variety sheet so um again i don't think i picked up them all correctly and <laughs> in all the foils but i do think i got them all in 
light gold. So that is the difference between her new dot cluster releases. Okay, next up are these vines. I don't know the actual name of it because it's not on here, but um, she, this is kind of like a revamp of a sheet she already had, and I think she's still offering the old sheet um, in addition to this sheet right here. But what she did, let me see if I can pull one out. Here we go. I see one. Um, okay, so here's the old sheet, and what she did, I think, was um, edit some of the, like, she just pulled the most popular ones, the people, the ones that people were using the most, like, which is this one and this one, um, and she, I don't know, just kind of, like, made, made a whole sheet of those. Anyways, okay, she, point being, she took off the really big one and just used the kind of more um, usable, less large ones and put them onto the sheet. And I'm really excited about it because those are the ones I was already using and I was cutting up some of the bigger ones too to make them look more like this. And I'm just really excited to see it. Um, so I think you can still purchase the old one, like I said, but for me, I feel like I'm gonna be getting a lot more use out of this sheet. Um, okay, and then lastly, I have the 12 month cursive, um, two sets each of the months. Um, this was part of the spring release and I didn't pick it up, I think, but I wanted it this time around. I kind of collect these from a bunch of different shops. Obviously, you need to use one every single week and you get two sets of a year there. So, um, really good. It's on clear paper. I get both clear and white for this. So, um, just kind of a, I really like the font. Nice to add to the collection, I think. All right. I think that's everything from Honey Inked. Again, kind of hard to say because... I already filmed this and started putting stuff away so I think some of it is spread out across my desk as well um, also here is all of Rachel's freebies again if you're going to purchase please 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 use Rachel's code and put her name in the notes and pick out a foil color that you want so that you can get to her freebie which is really like such a good freebie <laughs> All right, next up is Alyssa's Craft Shop. Alyssa wrote me the sweetest note ever. Thank you so much, Alyssa. Um, so I was really excited to see that. I had purchased um, in my last haul a bunch of kits, and I had tried some of her transparent matte deco just because some of her deco that I wanted was sold out. And then once I got it in the mail, I realized it probably wasn't like for people like me who, who layer a lot. So I went back and purchased... Um, the regular deco version of all of of all of it in the regular paper once she had it available and she in the note here she said that a lot of you went and put my name in the notes to sell her after that haul um, so thank you so much I appreciate it because of that we're going we're going to make a freebie I don't have it just yet but I will definitely post on my Instagram and show you guys um, once I pick out all the stuff for the freebie so thanks for doing that everyone <laughs> and then um, she also gave us a code which is awesome you can use my name um, Lauren Lauren 20 will be the code. So um, Lauren 20 for 20% off Alyssa's craft shop and then put my name in the notes for my freebie. Um, so here's what I, oh, and speaking of freebies, I put Tiffany's name in the notes um, and got her freebie um, plans by Tiffany, who I absolutely adore. And I think this freebie is so good. Um, I really love this little kind of floral here and that um, really pretty doily kind of scallop circle I probably put that on my freebie because I am obsessed I think that's really pretty here's the deco that I got um, I'm gonna use this kit really soon this is the trust deco that goes with that kit I'm obsessed I think it's so pretty um, Kara just did a spread with this and I'm like so excited to get to use it I got the sunset deco I picked up this kit as well um, the lovely deco this is the same deco I was talking about earlier in the haul with uh, Sadie stickers that all kind of matches plus some additional individual pieces and stuff so I will definitely pull this in I think for multiple spreads really I think I have multiple kits with these flowers and then I got the sunflower deco I think this is really cute um, I want to say this is going to match well with one of the kits that I'm getting from Sadie sticker so we'll have to see if that's a good match to use there but I just really like her deco sheets I think they're good size and variety of deco um, and yeah like I said I have a lot of her kits already so um small little haul from from Alyssa's craft shop but again stay tuned on my Instagram to see more about my freebie and you can use my code Lauren20 for 20% off. All right I think that's everything from the haul that I had with the corrupted audio that's at all I have in my pile at least if there's any footage after this look down at the um 
at how much time is left and I would just recommend turning your headphones down because if there is footage after this the audio is going to be a little wonky and I recommend watching it without Bluetooth headphones um, and on your phone is I think the best way to do it with the volume kind of low. So, um, but if this is the end of the video, thanks so much. I don't have everything <laughs> because of, you know, the whole situation. Thanks for understanding. I appreciate it. Um, all right. Thanks everyone. Coupon codes down below. Yeah.
because my birthday is on the 16th and I'm pretty, it's just really, really nice, so pretty, so those are nice little boxes, you can find a really nice program on the paper, it's a very sweet kind, it's like, her, like the quality of her stuff is really good, and the four of those perfect, great lips, kind of like the little perfect, um, you know, like the look and pretty good, here, the other one's really See that? And then, uh, 